It was a moment of joy and great feeling of achievement for these 1,380 graduates who officially joined the job market today after their certified requirements to attain degrees and diplomas. The function took place at the university grounds in Mengo and of the 1,380 graduates, 821 were female while 559 were male. In the next project I will be doing, I want to make a drone. Drones. Uh, then also I want to make a robot, really. Because in Uganda, technology is developing, we need those robots, we need those drones to, to make surveillance. For example, you people of TV, you need those drones to capture the, the, the ceremonies. I feel so proud because I've made my dream come true. I'm, I've been studying a diploma in journalism whereby I'm able to do everything con concerning journalism and the media work. I'm so happy today because what I want to do is what I've got today. Yeah, so after here, I'm going to look for, for a job. That's all. The institute cites more females graduating than males as an achievement in empowering girl child education. 545 are graduating with certificates, while 860 are graduating with the diplomas. The increasing number of female graduates is a big step in attitude change, women emancipation, and education. And an indication that women too can. We all know that women were formerly not highly considered for technical and vocational training. As the saying goes, educating a girl child is educating a nation. I'm very grateful to these young ladies who have managed to graduate with this kind of education and training. Thank you. Thank you so much. The chief guest of the ceremony, Katiki of Buganda, Charles Peter Maiga, caution the graduates to act professionally once they are employed. These men and women are still young. I believe they still need your guidance and counsel as they embark on this journey into the future. I'd like to congratulate the graduates upon achieving this milestone. But this is just the beginning of a long journey. This only marks the beginning of a very long, long journey. I urge you always to yearn for knowledge and skills so as to remain competitive in the labor market. While it's an achievement for these graduates upon finishing the university, the question remains just how easy it will be for them to get employed, given that International Labor Organization quotes unemployment in Uganda at 62%. Report by Alozia Satwini and Sarah Birunji Namudu for PM Live.